this is our last chapter of our subject design of steel structure okay so in the last lecture we will discuss up to our design of industrial building in which we have to cover two types of examples are there in the first type of example we have to find out dead load live load and bin load and this load will be distributed per panel point it means we have to distribute it on upper length after that in the second type of examples it is already discussed that there is two types of examples are there in which in the first type when the load is directly given say for example in the last in the last examples the load on per lane is given as 2.5 kN per meter so this is the first method in which the load on per lane is directly given and on second type of example we are already discussed that we have to find out first of all dead load live load and wind load separately and with the help of load combinations which is three load combinations are there first one is dead load plus live load second is dead load plus wind load and third one is the combination of all the three forces and you all know that you have to design any structural components for maximum force so from three load combinations your maximum load is your design load and after finding out all these three components the for maximum force you have to design for per lane okay so this is the second method so in the last lecture we have to discuss that the design of per lane now we are moving further to our new chapter which is connections okay so students this is a connection chapter which is already discussed in your semester 6 subject elementary structural design in so in elementary structural design there is a two part first is rcc and second is steel so in steel portion chapter number 2 is bolted connection and chapter number 3 is welded connection okay so we have to use bolted connection as well as welded connection in this chapter but what is the difference between semester 6 and semester 8 so we have to just take a value of bolt which is bolt value and you all know that bolt value is the smaller value of shear capacity of bolt and bearing capacity of bolt now what is shear capacity and what is bearing capacity so the equation of shear capacity of bolt and bearing capacity of bolt is given on is 800 2007 page number 75 okay so in today's session we have to design for a bolted connection but the major difference is in this subject we have to connect steel beam to another steel beam it means main steel beam to secondary steel steel beam beam to column connection and column to column connection okay so in this subject you have to joint a beam to beam beam to column and column to column connections with the use of bolting and welding okay so first of all let us start introduction of connection so in introduction of connections you all know that in the frame of a steel building a beam may be attached to another beam it is already discussed that you can also see that in this figure say for example this is beam and this is column so this is beam to column connection say for example okay same in the same way one main beam is connected to the another secondary beam so one beam it is attached to the another beam or a column now when the beam is connected to the column then you all know that the load transfer from secondary beam to main beam and main beam to column so we have to transfer the load from secondary beam to main beam and main beam to column okay now 
you can see that the beam to column connections expected to resist and transfer and reactions only are Thomas shear connection or it is also called as flexibility connections. Now you all know that there are main three types of connections are there. First is rigid connections. Rigid means fixed connection and you all know that fixed connections means fixed beam. So it is a revision of your mechanics of solid in which there are four types of supports are there. First one is fixed support, second pin support, third roller support and last is free support. Now your second and third term which is a hinge support and a roller support. These two supports are called a simple support. Okay. So at the similar way there are three types of connections are there. First one is fixed support or it is also called as rigid connection. Now rigid means it takes a shear force as well as it takes a bending moment. Okay. And you all know that your fixed support is takes horizontal reaction, vertical reaction as well as moment. Okay. Second type is pin connection or pin connection is also called a simple connection. It means your simple support. Now in simple support there is two types of supports are there. First one is hinge support and some another is roller support. Now these both the supports takes only reactions. Okay. Not a single support takes a moment. It means in pin connections it always and it only raises shear forces, not restrain the bending moment. Okay. Now the third type is semi-rigid connections. In semi-rigid connections, it restrained shear force, but it is partially restrained moment. So this is the three types of connections based on rigidity. So students, you can see that this is a graph in which you can see that this is the graph for rigid connections which restrain shear force and bending moment. This is a simple or flexible. It means this is only restraints only shear force. No restraints bending moment and this is semi rigid. It means this is restrained shear force but it is partially restrained bending moment. Okay. So this is the figure of rigid connection. This is the figure of semi rigid sorry flexible connections and third one is your semi rigid connection. Now as discussed earlier there there are three types of load distributions are there. First one is from secondary beam to main beam. Now from main beam to column. So first is beam to beam connections with the help of bolting or welding. So in the first type of connections it is called as wave cleat angle connections in which you can see that this is main beam and this is secondary beam. You can see that it is clearly written over here that it is main beam and it is secondary beam. Now the connection of these two beams are with the help of cleat angle. So you can see that this is cleat angle. IS angle is called as cleat angle. So you can see that this is your cleat angle. Okay. This cleat angle will be like this. L shape. Okay. So first of all whenever we have to transfer the load from sec secondary beam to main beam. So this is the figure that how to connect with the help of wave cleat angle connection. Second is wave and seat angle connections. It means you can see that this is wave and seat angle connections in which this is a seat angle and this is a wave cleat angle. Okay. Now from secondary beam the load transfer to the main beam. Now from main beam we have to transfer the load to the column. So whenever we have to transfer the load from beam to column the connection is with the help of 
wave angle connections so you can see that this is wave angle connections in which this is steel column and this is steel beam okay so you can see that in steel column this is i section and in i section this is flange portion this is wave portion and this is flange portion and on the similar way this is a i beam and for i beam this is flange portion this is wave portion and this is a flange portion now you can see that the beam's wave portion is connected with the column's flange portion okay so this connection is called as wave to flange connections with the help of wave angle connections now second type is cleave and seat angle connections and this connection is unstiffen okay so what is unstiffen so you can see that this connection transfer the reaction from beam to column through angle seat okay so this is seat angle and what is the function of this portion this top plate so top plate called clip angle is provided okay so this is the clip and seat angle connections reference now third type is clip and seat angle connections now what is the difference between second type and third type so you can see that it is unstiffen and this is stiffen so whenever we have to use a long span of beam then you all know that if the span is very long then the bending moment generated in the moment is very large as compared to the smaller dimensions okay so you can see that when large reactions from beam occur more number of bolts may have to provided to connect the seat angles to the column flange so at this portion there are number of beams there are number of bolts are provided is more so at that point we have to provide a cleat and seat angle connection which is stiffen okay so you can see that this is a column in which this is flange this is wave and this is flange as discussed earlier and this is a beam so whenever we have to transfer the load from beam to column you can see that there are number of bolts are provided and why these bolts are more because the span is very large and for whenever the span is large the reactions generated in the beam is also a heavy okay so students this is the types of connections in which there are two types of connections based on rigidity so on based on rigidity there is three types of connections first one is rigid connection second one is semi rigid connection and third one is flexible connection now the load transfer from comp one component to another component so there is two types of connections are there okay so in first types it is beam to beam connections it means secondary beam to main beam connection and second is main beam to column connections okay so students now we are moving further to our example point of view so in example point of view in our first example we have to discuss that how the load transfer from secondary beam to main beam when a main beam is connected with only one secondary beam and in the second type of example we are discussing that our main beam is connected with two secondary beams from both the ends okay so students in the next lecture we will discuss that how the load transfer from beam to beam with the help of bolted connection and you all know that this is the revision of your beam or sorry your bolted connections which is covered in your semester 6 okay so students this is the end of our today's session thank you